I'll be honest, guys. After playing Fate Samurai Remnant, I never want to see another Fate video game ever again. Unless it's also by Koei Tecmo. Speaking of Koei Tecmo, I just want to thank them for allowing me to have early access to the game. My channel isn't at all big by any stretch of the imagination. So for me to get this opportunity is just a dream come true. But of course, I also have to thank you guys for essentially giving me this platform as small as it is that allows me to get opportunities just like this. Again, thank you to both you guys and Koei Tecmo for making this possible. I have about 24 hours of playtime put into Samurai Remnant. And for those unaware, I don't really have a lot of experience admittedly with Koei Tecmo or Musou games in general. So I'm not really the best person to let you know if Fate Samurai Remnant is a good Koei Tecmo game or if it's a good Musou game. I'm not really qualified in reviewing Samurai Remnant as a Musou gamer or a Musou fan. But what I can say as a Fate fan instead is that Fate Samurai Remnant is insanely fun, addictive, and a satisfying Fate video game. Dare I say, one of the best Fate video games we've gotten ever. Which isn't really saying a lot. There's not really that many fate video games but it's a start and what do i mean by satisfying like i said i don't have a lot of experience with musa games from my understanding a lot of people who don't like musa games or the genre feel that way because a lot of the times when it comes to these games the combat the battle the way the entire game works is very repetitive and even easy to the point that it makes for a somewhat unsatisfactory maybe even boring experience and i'm not gonna lie this is kind of how i felt with another muso game the one of the few muso games that i do have experience with fate extella and don't get me wrong i enjoyed fate extella when it came out i played the crap out of fate extella i like the story i like the characters i like the world building but the gameplay to me got old really really fast and for like 90 percent of the game i just found myself clicking the same button using the same combos over and over and over again regardless if i'm fighting like normal enemies or like mini bosses or even like the main big bosses and it didn't really make for a satisfying or gratifying experience. But even though Samurai Remnant is also a Fate Musou game, granted by a different company, I find the combat to be a lot more satisfying. Rather than just spamming one or two combos over and over again, I find myself in situations against bosses specifically where I have to adapt and sort of even strategize and observe the enemy in order to win. Not saying it's like Dark Souls level or like, you know, Elden Ring or anything, but there were definitely more times than not where I found myself in a situation like, whoa, whoa, okay, I need to take a step back and actually analyze the opponent right now. And not once did I ever do that with Excella. And for that reason alone, I would say Samurai Remnant feels a lot more satisfying feels a lot more gratifying, especially when I overcome certain battles. And it succeeds where Extella failed at, in making me feel like I'm actually achieving something. So if you didn't like Extella's gameplay, or maybe even straight up hated Extella's gameplay, I can guarantee you Samurai Remnant is a much, much better experience. By no means am I saying Fate Samurai Remnant is an amazing or great Musou game, because I'm not qualified to say that. All I'm saying is that Fate Samurai Remnant is better than Extella. So don't let the genre scare you away. I would definitely give this game a try before passing any kind of judgment. As far as the performance goes, I'm playing on a PC that's almost 8 years old. But after 24 hours, the game has no issues at all. No crashes, no frame rate drops. The game has been pretty smooth in both medium and high settings. Okay, well that's not to say I haven't had the occasional bug or weird graphical error here and there, but nothing has happened by any means that like ruined the game for me or took me out of the experience. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with the gameplay and performance of this game. If I had one complaint though about the gameplay is that the side missions in particular are pretty uninteresting for the most part. Like the missions, the side missions that have anything to do with like servants, they're great. They're awesome. I love them. But a lot of the side quests and side missions are a lot of the same stuff. Kill 15 of this enemy. Pet two dogs or two cats. And you do this a lot throughout the game. So stuff like that does get repetitive and dare I say boring. But again, at the same time, they're side missions or side quests. You don't necessarily have to do them. So in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a minor complaint. It's not that big of a deal. Although I will say this, petting the dog and the cat, while that's cool, and I'm glad this game did it because, you know, some other games, I'm not going to name any names. <coughs> Legend of Zelda doesn't let us pet dogs or cats i do wish they healed a little bit more like they only heal like what 15 to 20 and petting them takes like 10 seconds ish doesn't really make for the most riveting gameplay to be honest just like with fgo and even extella the gameplay for me is secondary what i truly find value in when it comes to fate in general are the stories the characters the world building the lore and how everything comes together 
in the wider Nasuverse. Out of respect for Koei Tecmo and of course you guys who may or may have not experienced the game, I will not be spoiling any plot points, any character reveals or identities that haven't already been revealed yet in the trailers or previews. I strongly recommend just playing the game yourself if you want to experience the story. Certain things should go without saying though. For example, if you're a Musashi fan or maybe even just a Japanese history, Japanese legend fan, you will definitely enjoy the story, the setting, and the characters very, very much. I've been saying this since the game was first announced. The concept, the idea of playing as Musashi's adopted son Miyamoto Iori is so freaking cool because he's already a skilled enough swordsman to not only hold his own against other swordsmen, but also strong enough to hold his own, not exactly win or defeat, but hold his own against servants and monsters makes for a very interesting story and character arc. Because in most fate works, not all of them, but in most cases, the main master either takes a pretty passive role, just like in Fate Grand Order or Fate Extra, that or the master only fights in very select situations, kind of like Shiro in the original series or Sieg from Apocrypha. In Miyamoto Iori's case, he's not only thrown into combat right off the jump, but he's prepared and strong enough to keep up. Again, that is just very refreshing to see in a new fate. Of course, in addition to Musashi, there are also many returning characters I'm sure you guys are already well aware of. So if you're a fan of any of them, just know that every single servant have their own little mini stories, kind of like interludes from Fate Grand Order, where not only you get to interact with them, you get to see them interact with other characters that you've never seen before, and you get to see a side of the character that you may or may not have ever seen in other Fate works before, which of course just adds to the overall enjoyment of the story and the characters. And of course, it's to be expected, there are also a lot of small Easter eggs sprinkled throughout the game that only longtime Fate fans would, you know, understand or appreciate. And you know what? This might be a hot take. I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me, especially like Fate veterans. But I think, I truly think, even if you're not a pre-existing Fate fan and it, you have little to no knowledge of Fate, I think this game is a decent starting point for new fans. I'm not saying it's the best starting point, I'm not saying it's the ideal starting point, but it's a good starting point. In my opinion, the game does a good enough job explaining key elements that you will find throughout every other Fate work out there. That gives a nice foundation of, I guess, understanding that new fans could use to help them understand other Fate spin-offs or other Fate works if they decide to experience those other Fate works. So if you've always wanted to start Fate but didn't know where to start and was always confused, I would say Fate Samurai Remnant is a decent place to start. And I know some people will disagree with that, but that, you know, it's my opinion, so whatever. Anyway, as far as the game soundtrack goes, I mean, it's amazing. I, I don't know what else to say besides it's very, very good. Not only are the brand new songs great, but hearing remixes of older songs like Bloodwind from FGO, ah, oh, just nostalgic. Bloodwind is one of my favorite songs from FGO, one of the battle themes from Shimosa as well as a battle theme that plays during the final fight with Ashia Doman, the remix version of it, that is. And hearing it again in a new Fate game in the Japanese setting still, so good. So, so good. Makes me feel nostalgic, makes me feel hype. Again, one of the many perks of being a pre-existing and older Fate fan is just appreciating these small things. Then, of course, there's the art style of Fate Samurai Remnant, and this might just be recency bias. Honestly, this whole video might just be recency bias at this point, but this game's art style might honestly be in my top five favorite Fate art styles of all time. Every new character looks amazing, and every returning character blends in nicely and are even given an extra bit of flair, dare I say. I mean, it's to be expected. The artist is literally the same artist who is in charge of the Shimosa manga, which is regarded in the Fate community as being one of the better adaptations, manga adaptations of one of the Fate stories. So if I were to give anything a perfect score from this game, definitely the art style easily. If not that, the music. Both those things, 10 out of 10. Voice acting is of course good. I have nothing to complain about when it comes to the voice acting. I know some people were hoping for an English dub and as far as I know, nobody has said anything about that. So I'm just gonna assume that's not gonna be happening. I mean, the Japanese voice acting just kills it every single time. In this particular case, I don't see a purpose in having an English dub. So if it wasn't obvious, with all that said, I love the game. I think it's really, really good. And I'm excited to tackle New Game Plus because apparently there's new stories and even alternate endings. I'm not gonna say what they are. Obviously, I don't even know them at this point in time, but this game clearly has replay value and I'm very excited to do that. And that's not even talking about the future DLC that they insinuated. And I really hope this game does well. I really hope it does well because like I said in the very beginning of this video, I would love it if Koei Tecmo developed more games for Fate. I think what they have here with Samurai Remnant 
there's potential here. There is very, very good potential here for possible future installments. That's why I need you guys to try the game and give it a fair shot because I think the game is great and there is potential here. Regardless, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. And of course, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on my review, on my opinion, on Fate Samurai Remnant if you have already played it. And maybe even let me know what other genre of video game you want to see fate in one day also side note it's kind of crazy that we got fate samurai remnant like what nine months after it was initially announced but fate extra records it's been like almost three years since it was announced and teased and there's just been no word or update on that at the time of recording this video so that's just kind of crazy how that works anyway subscribe to become a supporting character to me the main character because without you guys none of this would be possible i wouldn't be able to play the game almost a week before most other people so again thank you to everyone who's watching right now and thank you to of course koei tecmo for giving me this opportunity i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye